Hey guys, so I was asked to do a tutorial for No Name, so I'm going to try give that a shot now. Bear in mind, my music theory isn't great, so I'm just going to be telling you to put your fingers on different frets and different strings. Uh, but firstly, you want to make sure that you have your guitar in open D tuning. So that's very, very important. So we're going to have D, A, D, F sharp, or sorry, F sharp on the third string. Second string is A and then D again. Right? And then we'll get to the strumming pattern or the finger pick pattern soon. That's kind of what it's going to be, but we'll start here. So we'll start with the verses. So we're going to go on to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth fret on the third string with your middle finger. And then the first string on the seventh fret with your index finger. So we're going to go like this, right? That's how the song opens, right? Every now and then. So we're gonna go there, and then we're gonna step this uh, middle finger to the first string, and this finger to the third string. So we're kind of just skipping back to here because it's gonna make our movement easier. So we're gonna go. That's our second chord, and we're hitting on the D string every time. We're keeping that on the bass note, and then we're back to the fifth fret, and then back to the fourth fret on the one string and we're still we're hitting the, the top three strings here and we're hitting the the low D it's gonna be alright so so that'll sound like this see that all right and then the second half of the verse is going to be going with your index finger and your middle finger on the second and the third string and you're going to be hitting the a for the second round of the verse so the second half of the verse is just all going to be on the, the a is on the bass note so, and then we're sliding up to the fifth so where we were for the last half of the first half the last part of the first half of the verse, but we're, we're hitting the A string instead, so we're gonna go. And then we're resting down here on the second fret, and we're hitting the D again. So I'll just play that for you, right? Second half. So I kind of hammer off that, like, or pull off it, so. It's... Okay, so that's the verses and the strumming pattern. So I'll just go like this. So we're going E. I'll just play it really slow. I can't even describe it, so maybe you can just copy it. Okay, and then this is going to be difficult for me to explain, but we're going to do like a... Like let's say you're playing a normal E chord, right? Like which would be like an E on a in, in standard tuning. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two fingers, you're gonna move them down. So we're gonna move down to the first two strings or the last two strings, whichever way you're going up or down. So we're gonna start here. So that's for if you ever love somebody. And then we're gonna go to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7th fret, right? We're going to have middle finger on the D and then this ring finger on the 3rd string which is the F sharp string. So we're going to have that up there. So it goes If you ever move somebody You can see it better that way. You gotta keep them close and then we're gonna step it down, but we're gonna go up first. So we're gonna go seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna go to that E shape, that weird E shape, but it's not here, it's there. Also, I can't do it slow. So 
So I'll just do that step down again. We're going to start in the ninth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, and then change the shape back to that leg. So there's only three, two shapes. So it's this shape, and then go to this shape, this shape, this shape, and this shape. All right? And then we're back to the verse style for the deeper. Peace.